let's discuss about the keyboard events now i have assets in other file let us copy them from other file to this file and just copying that character uh, let's paste it in this file let us copy the base line also and paste it in our file let's create a new layer take that layer down to the character layer and paste in place now we just need to close the other file and we need to adjust the baseline so i'm just increasing the size of the line to the state size and now that let's see uh, the layers now so and make sure that character is supposed to have that instance name the instance name of that my car character is my cartoon and we need to save the file and let us name the file as key events click save now we need to create a base class uh, let's go to the properties panel click on uh, edit symbol to create a class and let us save this class with the same name key events make sure that both the files are uh, supposed to be in same folder let's get into the public function and we need to create one event listener to control this character using that arrow keys so we need to use keyboard events we have key down and key up two events here i'm just going with key down event and the function for key down event is update post let us this define this function next to the public function we will define this function as private function and let us define the keyboard event and we have key codes in our action script which will help us to identify the key when user press the key so let us take the help of that key code to find out the key and then accordingly we can react and accordingly that we can define the statements now let us define the if condition inside this function if even dot key code is 39 so the key arrows key arrow key codes starts from 37 37 38 39 40 so i just took the 39 keyword for right arrow i just saved the file tested it you see that my character is running continuously i have a walk cycle of character inside that movie clip i need to stop that my character move i just said that my cartoon dot stop and then save it and test it oh now that my arrow keys are not working since i said that my cartoon dot stop and then my arrow keys are also not working so we just need to change the order so that it is uh, it helps us to move I am using the arrow keys but it is not working now. It is not moving either left or right. I have taken that key code as in 39 to move the character towards the right side but it is not working. Let us take stop uh, down and the event listener top. Now it is working. Hope you see that. But character not character walk is not happening but character is moving accordingly. Now just uh, we can take you know next frame method which will help us to uh, read the next frame from the movie clip i would say that my cartoon dot next frame so that whenever i press the right arrow it reads next frame from the movie clip you can see that oh but it it, it is playing only the total number of frames and then later it is not continuing so to continue that we need to write a small condition when it, whenever it reaches that last keyframe it is supposed to come back to the first keyframe and should continue that walk cycle let's say if my cartoon dot current frame is equal to 10 because uh, the total number of frames inside that movie clip is 10 frames so my cartoon dot go to and stop one so the loop will be continued when i press that arrow key right arrow key let's save it and test it now wow you can see that continuous move 
so however you press the key and character moves slow and faster slow and faster that hope you see how beautiful that my character is moving towards that right side let us write the another if condition to move that my object towards that left side or else we can add that else if to the uh, to the current condition else if key code is 37 because as i told you that arrow key key codes are starts from 37 38 39 40 so clockwise let's say key code is double equal to 37 and then x equal to minus 5 x minus equal to 5 which will help us to uh, reduce that exposition continuously and then of course we are supposed to read that previous frame as we applied that next frame method we are uh, supposed to apply that previous method previous frame method here let's save it and test it now so my character moves right side when i press right key and it moves back side whenever i press that you know the previous key but i don't see character is moving continuously back because it was playing that only for 10 frames and later it was not continuing but let us apply that same condition if my movie clip current frame is 1 it should go back to 10 and then it should continue that loop even for backward also let's say current frame is equal to 1 then go to and stop 10 save it and test it now so we can see that forward movement as well as backward movement hope you see that continuous loop moving the character towards the back and then front right side and uh, left side movement is clear this is how that we can use keyboard events thank you for watching have a great day